Space Druid is back to bring you the second boss in the Terrace of Endless Springs, Sulong. Take it away, Space. Hey, Jack. Uh, thanks for having me back. It's a uh, pleasure to be here for the uh, second boss that is Sulong, and um, similar to Protectors, I'll give you a healing point of view. Um, now, there's two phases, the night phase and the day phase. As a healer, the first thing you'll notice in the uh, night phase is that the entire raid takes a shit ton of damage. Um, there is constant AoE damage going out, so be prepared for AoE healing, uh, but you want to do it conservatively. You don't want to smash out big, quick heals on people because you will need your mana in the day phase to heal so long. Uh, everybody will be getting stacks of some shit in this phase, I can't remember what it's called, but to drop your stacks you need to run into the beam of light that you will see uh, during the encounter. Now you don't want to stand in the beam of light because it will reduce, in like it, its length will reduce as the longer someone stands in it. So all you need to do is run through the beam of light to drop your stacks. You want to do this around 9 to 12 stacks, that's what we aim for. Um, so just be constantly aware of where it is and then run through it. Do not stand in it though. Uh, there will also be an AOE uh, getting thrown out which is called Nightmare I think it is from memory. You'll know what it is, it's this big purple thing. DBM will yell at you to move and so you just want to move when that comes in. If you don't move or if you run into somebody else's you will get feared and take damage. The fear doesn't last for very long but it can just be annoying if you get feared in front of the boss. Don't ever stand in front of the boss. The tank's the only ones that do that because the breath like every dragon is bad in the day, in the night phase anyway. Um, tanks will take medium kind of damage. It's nothing major. It's more the uh, raid damage that you'll need to contend with. Um, after a while it will then go into the day phase and that's when you need to heal Sulong. Um, make sure that you have Sulong set up so that he appears in whatever kind of bars you're using. When I first went in here it never came up and so I had to manually heal him by clicking on my freaking um, bars and it was just terrible, all kinds of terrible until I managed to finally set my voodoo up properly so that I could um, target him through that. Uh, you want to stand in front of the boss for this one which is contrary to what you do in the night phase and you just want to heal the shit out of him. Uh, he will periodically do a sun breath type thing which is a good thing because it gives you back 25% of your mana and also gives you a 500% uh, healing boost for 6 seconds. So if you have any instant cast heals you want to time it so that they hit after you have got that um, buff on you. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a spell just ready to land, so if you've got one that's a 2 or a 3 second cast time, time it up so that the uh, breath is going out just as that's coming out, so that way you can just smash it on it. Uh, the main thing though, as a healer, that you must, must do in this one is dispel Terrorize off uh, Sulong. Set it up beforehand that one of your healers will do this. Um, watch for it on DBM because the second that comes out you must dispel it otherwise it does 5% of damage on the boss and the whole point of this phase is to heal him up because the more you heal him in this one the less damage he's or the less health he has going into the next night phase. Um, there will be adds that spawn big adds and small adds um, you don't really have to worry about those ones but they will cause a uh, fear effect if they're around for too long but that's the DPS and the tanks job if they are not going down quick enough um, as a healer there's not much you can do with that um, just make sure you do get those um, dispels out I can't stress how important that is um, after a period of time the night phase will kick off again it's the same shit just keep doing it again um, you know watch for the AOE damage um, I normally try to, with my raid group, we time some of our raid-wide cooldowns to happen in 
the uh, night phase just because of that just to try to conserve some mana and then your single target big heals during the sun phase or the day phase um, there's not much raid damage going out during the day phase there is a tiny bit but it's nothing that a couple of um, you know hots placed on people can't take care of easily enough so you shouldn't you don't have to worry about tank damage or anything like that it's all just bang straight on Sulong and that is really about it so just recapping night phase move from the purple circles reset your stacks between about 9 to 12 but don't whatever you do stand in the uh, beam and then the day phase stand in front of the boss heal Sulong dispel it as soon as it uh, dispel terrorize as soon as it's there and man look Jack there's nothing really else I can say for this one it is a three heal fight um, so bring your healers along and uh, go for gold. See ya, buddy. All right, thank you, Space, for your very insightful healing shindiggery. Gotta love it. That's it. Click the annotation you see on screen for the other boss guide playlists. If you click that shiny subscribe button, then all future boss guides will come right to you. Like on Facebook for heads up on all my upcoming projects. Leave comments about alternative strats. Like if you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it. That is what it is there for. Go for it. <laughs>